Hi Aquarius, so it's Elle here to do a new spread or a new reading. I'm trying, I want to try this out um, where I pull one card for every 12 zodiac sign that, you know, for um, whomever the Aquarius is dealing with. So if you're dealing with Aries, of course, there'll be one card in regards to that. And then we'll go over to the website and we'll drill down on each uh, sign okay so maybe that'll help you kind of you know understand if it resonates for you you know even more it'll be a little bit more um, distinctive so I hope that this helps I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera so let's get started Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. We do have a special, um, a twenty dollar um, special love special. You can um, ask questions, uh, one to two questions, <clears throat> in regards to love, and uh, it's a video recorded reading, and it will be sent to you. Okay, so take advantage of that. That link is below in the description box. All right. So, Aquarius dealing with Aries. Someone can timestamp, you know, but it's going to go kind of fast. There's only one card for all 12 zodiac signs. Aquarius dealing, Aquarius dealing with Aries. Aquarius dealing with Taurus. Aquarius and Gemini. Aquarius and Cancer. Aquarius and Cancer. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Aquarius and Leo. Okay. Let's put these back. They come back out. Now we know that's the card. We have the King of Pentacles come out. Aquarius and Leo. All right. Aquarius and what's after Leo? Libra. Aquarius and Scorpio. Aquarius and Sagittarius. Aquarius and okay, Capricorn, Aquarius and Aquarius. Aquarius and Pisces. Okay, let's see. And <clears throat> what we'll do is I'll start from the from the from the back end. All right, so Aquarius dealing with Pisces, Page of Swords. So there may be a, um, a bit of spying here. You know, some of you may be getting tarot card readings in regards to the Piscean or vice versa. Someone is asking questions about you. Somebody is definitely talking about you or in regards to, you know, someone that may be close to you. Someone is trying to, there's a lot of energy in regards to trying to gain some knowledge, some clarity. It is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be the, the Aquarius trying to figure out where the Pisces is in regards to how they feel about the Aquarius. All right, so Aquarius and Aquarius. Okay, Ooh. the Knight of Wands. Okay, so... This may be a situation of hot and cold, off and on. I thought about you, so I text or I called. But now I've moved on, but then I'll think about you again. It may be a situation where there's in and out. Um, there could be a lot of chemistry here, but there's no real foundation here. And there's no real commitment. It's a situation where it's off and on. This could be a person who's in and out of your life. It could even just be a friend. 
um, maybe the the relationship never had any real title, any commitment. So that's what Aquarius and Aquarius could be. Someone could be trying to come toward you, though. Um, question, if you're good with fun times, because the Knight of Wands is fun, then great. Um, if you want something a little bit more solid and stable, you might want to have a conversation with this person. All right. Um, Aquarius and Capricorn, the lovers. All right. So there's a choice that has to be made. It's almost um, a choice of what you love and maybe something that's tangible, something that it's like a life altering choice. Um, there there are, are two options or more than two options but a choice needs to be made in regards to the Aquarius and the Capricorn this could be a choice in love this could be someone basing their choice on um, systematic the systematic health of a relationship somebody's analyzing what you guys have or had and then they're trying to make a decision in regards to is this even useful in my life um the sense of usefulness of this connection so that's that's where the choice is going to be based in this could be the aquarius doing this or this could be the um the capricorn but somebody's trying to make a, a choice like they're really trying to analyze this here all right so Sagittarius and Aquarius four of wands okay so we've got the establishment of a relationship I, I think for the Aquarius and the Sagittarius you guys may have children together you may have lived together at one point you have a lot of roots with each other um, there's a sense of uh, someone's evaluating the foundation and seeing where do we go from here um, this is a we're coming into a month the the eighth month where there's a lot of uh, re 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 reevaluating um, uh, get it getting to a place of um, trying to see where you want to put the work in so you have a foundation with the Sagittarius and you guys may be thinking about where where do we go from here okay uh, you may even have children with this person. Scorpio, right? Okay. Six of Wands. Nice. Um, so, once again, uh, there could be a Scorpio. This could be you, Aquarius, or, or the Scorpio you're dealing with. Um, they may get a lot of attention, or you may be putting them up on a pedestal, or vice versa. They do this with you. They've made the choice that they want to give you the attention. They want to to praise you they've done something publicly said something publicly or made a declaration in regards to how they feel about you how they want the connection to grow um, and, and what your the connection is and they've given you some type of recognition they understand they get it now in regards to how this relationship uh, needs to go they're analyzing the health the fitness of this relationship okay so this is good for Scorpio and Aquarius so um, Libra Libra and Aquarius five of wands um, there might be a bit of pettiness here five of wands um, arguing for just the sake of arguing this is a lot of childish behavior um, this is drama. This could even be like borderline jealousy. This is competition. This is um, this is the fight is on in regards to we're going to keep it, you know, small and minor. But do know that you know I'm, it's it's something like someone has said I'm going to achieve this and that, and I'm going to be over this or that, and I'm going to do this. Uh, before you do it Aquarius or vice versa you're saying that to a Libra there's a lot of um, pettiness and bickering only out of the fact of um, it might it may be stemming from some some type of jealousy someone thought you would fail I don't know we're gonna drill down on that 
Um, so Virgo, right? I hope I'm right. Yeah. Virgo, the sun. Nice. Okay. So some things may be illuminated for you in regards to dealing with the Virgo Aquarius. Um, it says that there's wish fulfillment. Something is coming to fruition for you. A long awaited wish. Some new friendship or new relationship could bring you a lot of happiness and contentment here with this Virgo. I think the both of you are in a space of understanding. Um, the universe is putting... You guys are separated, but there's a, a an enlightenment coming to the both of you in regards to what maybe this connection could be or is. We'll drill down on that. The sun is something we're, that was fuzzy is now clear. Okay. Um, what is this? Aries, Taurus, Gemini. This was supposed to be Leo. This is Leo. We forgot about Virgo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's count the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> we forgot about Virgo. Well, since we've already named it Virgo, we'll leave it Virgo. And I'll pull another card for Leo. Okay. So, um, let's see. All right, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it down packed. I'm going to write down all of the signs and then kind of have that as a guide. All right, so, yeah. All right. No big deal. Big deal with no big deal, right? Leo, Leo. Let's see. What's going on for my Leos and Aquarius? Leo and Aquarius. Wow. Okay, cards flipped out. Said you forgot about me. Now I'm going to give you three cards. Okay. King of Wands, Two of Swords, Two of Wands. So, in regards to dealing with the Leo Aquarius, um, they, they, they burn hot for you. You are their desire. They could be very attractive. You could be very attractive. There is someone holding back. There is someone um, feeling like they can't make a decision, but knowing that they need to make a, a decision and, and choose a new path or, yeah, choose a new path to walk down, to grow. And it's almost as if you guys know that you have to take things to the next level. Um, it's like a leveling up for either you or the Leo that you're dealing with. Um someone doesn't know how you feel or you don't know how this person feels and that's why you feel like you're in the dark there's a bit of indecision here it says that um also some of you are just fearful in committing to one to one position because you have to cut away another another path that you're walking currently you have to make a decision you'll have to cut away um this could be you Aquarius this could be the other person um, somebody is also thinking about money matters um, entrepreneurship uh, habits daily routines work ethic in regards to dealing with the Leo um, we'll drill down on that over at the website so this is for Leo all right so, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Okay, Cancer. Dealing with a Cancer. Aquarius and Cancer. Ace of Cups. Um, the new beginning or the resurgence of, of what fulfills you both emotionally. Um, uh, a friendship, a love that never has died or or something new and and something new for you maybe there is a new cancerian person that you met or there you know or vice versa uh why well, i say vice versa if you met a cancer they met you okay anyhow um this is all about the new beginning and how you're coming off as emotionally balanced stable and coming off as 
there there could not only be love here but a level of friendship so that's good for the cancerian if you're dealing with the cancer whether it's past or it's present day in regards to you just meeting them um there could be a, a new beginning here in regards to dealing with a gemini uh, the ten of swords yeah someone's feeling like this is done it's over this could be you it could be the gemini it could be the energy of both of how both of you feel about this um there is no going back the ultimate betrayal has happened um the ending is here it's done allow it to set in and then you can move on and have clarity for yourself or for the both of you uh the ten of swords yeah this is masculine energy so aquarius if you're the masculine one maybe you're feeling this way if you're the male if you are not and you're dealing with a gemini male maybe he's feeling this way it's just, it's just over there's no coming back there's no rectifying it's just a moving on um okay so the aquarius dealing with um who's this taurus strength card nice so in the past there might have been some very challenging energy between you and this Taurus but there's somebody who's taming themselves in regards to you Aquarius and they or, or vice versa um, they're getting it together they understand they're working hard on the the connection they want to grow it grow the connection um, and move it forward they may want to travel with you they may want to marry you um later in life this might be a late marriage for the both of you um there, there's a lot going on here but someone is really grounding themselves taming the ego and really getting to a place of of wanting to merge life and and have real partnership so this is good um yeah very good there's the, the sex too could be good there's a level of intimacy that has been achieved between you and taurus the wall has come down okay so Aries and Aquarius Wheel of Fortune okay so it says that luck is on your side but do keep in mind that luck is out of our control so things may not look like they're going in whatever fashion you want them to go into but it is um, just know that luck is out of your control you don't get to be lucky and get to tell luck how you want things to look and how it should go and when what day it should come and at what time no you just you rest in the energy of the will of fortune maybe it's it's turning now um in your favor so that's good uh between you and your aries person maybe there's something coming to a, a, a um we'll say a positive com culmination you guys are coming together ten of cups ten of pentacles uh, ten of wands releasing the burden maybe of the past ten of swords allowing the betrayal and the hurt if there ever was any to just sub subside in the connection so this is good okay aquarius this is the first time we had a minor hiccup but we got through it thank you for being here what I'm going to do is now pull cards, um, pull clarifying cards in regards to Aquarius dealing with all 12 zodiac signs. Um, you can ascribe, ascribe the, the, the signs, you know, to your person or whatever, like the Wheel of Fortune, if you want to say, oh, that's my Scorpio I don't know whatever go right ahead um, or or that it I don't know you know people some people can't listen to these readings about having 12 13 different signs called out and you really can't get too bogged down in that okay so thank you Lord God for blessing this reading giving us clarity in regards to Aquarius dealing with all 12 zodiac signs the Wheel of Fortune for the Aries. Okay. Uh, Aquarius dealing with Taurus. Aquarius dealing with Taurus. 
Okay. Nice. Okay, Aquarius dealing with Gemini. Aquarius and Gemini. What do you have to say as a clear clarifying card? Aquarius and Cancer. Aquarius and Cancer. Aquarius and Virgo. Aquarius and Virgo. Aquarius and Leo. Clarify what's going on with the Aquarius and the Leo. Aquarius and Libra. Aquarius and Libra. Aquarius and Scorpio, right? Yes. Aquarius, Aquarius and Sagittarius. This looks really good, guys. Uh, we're going to clarify over at the website. These three came out for Aquarius and Sagittarius. Aquarius and Capricorn. Aquarius and, okay, Aquarius. Aquarius and Pisces. Okay. All right, Aquarius. So we're going to clarify over. We're going to talk about the clarifying cards over at the website. I'm going to leave you with an angel answer card here. Uh, let's see. The Aquarius for all 12 zodiac signs. As a collective Aquarius, what should we all be doing? What should we all, what is the advice? First of all, let's see. Wow, no. We're going to clarify that no answer over at the website. And we'll get one butterfly oracle card to give us some focus here. A general butterfly and butterfly oracle card in regards to what the Aquarius should be focused on. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna take them. Well, three just flew out. Family changes, end of an era, gracefully aging, and we will talk about that over at the website, but. This is what you should be focused on, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being with me with this new this new thing that we're doing. Hopefully, it'll stick. Um, if you like it, if you feel like you get a bit more clarity, you don't have to play the guessing game. It's just for me. If this reading is for me, you've got all 12 zodiac signs here, okay? All right, Aquarius, I'll see you on the other side. No, it's always $2.25 to get the extended reading. The link is below. Thank you. Bye.